Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. PowerPoint allows you to insert various shapes into your slides. To insert a shape into a slide, click the Insert tab in the ribbon and then click the Shapes drop-down button that appears in the Illustrations button group. A drop-down menu of the shapes you can insert will appear. Roll your mouse pointer over the shape you want to insert and then click it to select it. Your mouse pointer will then appear as a black crosshair when you place it back over the slide. Decide where you want the graphic to appear in the slide and then click and drag across the area in the slide where you want the selected shape to appear. It will then be inserted into your slide. There are a few techniques that can assist you in creating shapes. For example, you can hold down the shift key as you click and drag while drawing a shape to create a perfect version of the selected shape. Holding the shift key when drawing lines will make the line perfectly straight. You can create perfect circles and squares by using this method in conjunction with either the oval or rectangle shape as needed. If you don't care about setting the size of the shape as you insert it, you can actually use a different method to insert a selected shape. Using this method, you still start by selecting the shape from the ribbon using the Shapes button as you normally would. Then hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Click once into the slide where you want to position the upper left corner of the shape. PowerPoint will insert a shape with a default size into the position at which you clicked. After inserting a shape into your slide, the mouse pointer returns to its default behavior and you exit PowerPoint's drawing mode. If you want to draw several copies of the same shape without having to reselect the same shape from the Shapes button over and over again, you can lock PowerPoint into its drawing mode as you initially select a shape from the Shapes button's drop-down menu. To do this, simply right-click the Shape button that you want to draw within the drop-down menu instead of clicking it. From the pop-up menu that appears, choose the Lock Drawing Mode command. Now you can return to your slides and draw as many instances of the selected shape as you wish. You can cancel the drawing mode lock by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. After drawing a shape, the shape will appear as being already selected. If it is not selected, then you need to click it to select it prior to formatting the shape. Once the shape has been selected, you will see the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab appear in the ribbon. This tab provides you with several shape formatting options. You will next learn about the shape formatting options available within this Contextual tab in the ribbon. You will find many of the options are similar to the options available when formatting pictures and text boxes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.